Hello Blast Process viewers and another one of my impromptu unboxing videos of what's come through the letterbox or in this instance hasn't come through the letterbox due to the fact it's bleeding big I was left by the weedy bin I'm talking about this and believe me it's heavy it is astonishingly heavy for its size so I'm going to put it down and change the camera angle Right, it's a view of my bed. Yes, strange, but hell. It's all because of that. See, you see it bounce? Yes, I haven't got any scales to actually measure, measure, weigh the thing. And as you can see, it's a bit on the chunky side. What we've got here is the Super Nintendo Anthology. Yeah. Ultimate Edition Geeks Line and this is a Kickstarter item Right, okay. Well, give you some idea of the scale of it, shall we? Well, here is my 3DS So I'll put that there and this Well, that's a switch. So I'll put that there And change the view. Look at that. Yes So it's a bit of a meaty book Move these out. Right then, let's get the usual tour. Nicely picked out in silver. This is Super Nintendo Anthology. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we've got the sort of uh, the rounded Japanese PAL-looking model there, and the American boxy one. What's the bottom part? Not a lot to see there. What's the top like? Equally dull. This side. <sighs> You see, there's actually two volumes inside. Get the focusing going. Yes. So we've got, we've got, we've got the software book and the hardware book. On to the back. Uh -huh. Pad. Got some text. And we have the barcode bit. So what we got? Uh -huh. I've got the text in view. If you want to try and read it. Sorry about the light reflection. I'll try and stop that. And barcode. So what have we got? Super Nintendo Anthology Ultimate Special Edition. New. I have to say though, this was sent to us in a box, and well, wasn't much in the way of packaging. Put it that way. Now. I'm going to put the phone down in a second, we'll split the cellophane and take a look at the box. And again for dramatic effect, yep, it's heavy. Right, see you after the break. Right then, I have now split the cellophane on the edge. Ooh, that smell, sort of fresh new cardboard. Same sort of smell you get when you open the board game box. Hmm. Right, so what have we got going on here? This is the software book. We see in the back of it. Let's move this aside. And now we've got, obviously, the hardware book, the back of. Right, let's turn them over. Oh, surprisingly, much lighter considering it's just the sleeves from taken off so there's the front of the hardware book and the front of the software book side by side mm -hmm. do it different in the back just do the full thing well the back's the same right Ooh. right which should we go with first? Well, the hard one, from the no, the hardware book is thinner, so we'll go with hardware, shall we? Let's move that out and see what we can do with this. Now, it's got spot varnish. The light is helping me pick that out for you. Just on the actual console bits, the rest of it is just flat matte, and we got red flying interior right 
I'm just going to change things around a bit to make it easier to try and look through. Bear with me again. Right then, slight bit of rearranging and the use of two pillows. This bed's coming handy for this. We can try and flick through the book. This is the hardware volume, it's shiny paper. Contents. About 238 is the highest number listed there. The Snares Epic. Right. Man behind the machine. That would be unfair to simply sh show you every single page on the publisher, so we'll just do a bit of a, a flick through and stop. I would say st stop if you want to see the next page, but since I'm recording this, that isn't going to work, is it? So, apologies if we shoot past the things that you want to see. Uh, it is randomly looking at things. Oh, there's a UK Nintendo magazine. I'll try it more. Even more play. I think I had those issues. Nintendo and the ESRB. The new era. Key dates. Being the thinner of the two books, you think oh, there's much in it, but actually there's a lot in here. Snares versus this competition. Charts. 65C816, the heart of the beast. Technical. Graphics. Just a little bit there. Audio specs for the different consoles. Surround sound, okay. Sound waveforms. You see, it's quite in depth. Now, these publishers have already done books on the GameCube, PlayStation, I think the N64, it might be a Neo Geo one as well. I have most of them, if not all, I can't remember anymore. It sounds like a very sad thing to say. Around the world are different versions. Yes. Special Nintendo accessories. What have we got here? Nintendo Classic Mini, Super Famicom NES, or Super NES Classic Edition. Pretty much up to date. Third party accessories. An awful lot of pads. An awful lot of pads. And there's still an awful lot of pages to go. The others do what Nintendo don't. Right. No idea what that section's on. Oh, look. Do now. Who hasn't got these sort of uh, devices in their armory? Especially many different versions of this, these devices due to the sheer, well, quantity of things you're trying to navigate. The Super Famicom CD-ROM reader. Now that's been around on the internet a few times. Dylan Cuthbert, the man behind the Super FX. And a picture of a Spectrum and the ZX81. Game Floor Collectible Treasures. But it's still book one by the way. So it's going to be a long video. And you're not seeing all the pages. I'm just Looking past some of them. And believe it or not, I do have some of this stuff. Oh, far too much of this stuff. Which is Ireland. It's a packet. Okay. Mario Painter have one of those. Uh, the world of box art. Oh, don't you come to it on the uh, Japanese? Uh, Super Nintendo. I'm pretty sure I've got that somewhere. Went through a phase of buying multiple versions. I think everybody goes through these phases. 
the most botched box art. It's intriguing. Advertising. Oh, Kickstarter backers. I imagine quite a lot of you would want to see if your name is actually in print. I can't really do that for everybody, but I can certainly see my name, so I'm happy. Let's so, so check on somebody else while I'm here. Yeah, so there's the, uh, the A's through to G's, and there's the H's through to R's, and here we have the R's through to Z. Blank flyleaf, and the paper. End of book. Whoops. Parallels are recording on the phone. End of book one. Let's go into book two. And here we are. This is the second volume, the one on the software. As you can see, it's got these sort of picked out um, spot varnish on the cover. So let's see what we've got inside. Yeah. Right, there's the certificate. A sort of A to Z indexy thing. So let's go forward and we got Bob. Alright, let's do a few more. We're studying the bees. Oh no, I found a little ribbon thing. The brain is. So let's turn over a few more pages. We're into C's now. A little shoplifter. Big hit on the other side there with Chrono Trigger. Let's do a few more. Dear Boys and Demon's Crest. A few more. Dragon Ball Z or Z. Super Buddha Dun 3. Not quite sure. And a much easier Dragon Knight 4 that side. Let's do a few more. F1 pole position. Do family feud. Final Fantasy V. Final Fantasy III. Okay. Final fight. Final fight three. Flashback. The quest for identity. Woman for real. A few more. What are you now then? Genocide two. family friendly. Go go Ackman. A few more. Imperium. Is it there? International Superstar Soccer. Will that be in all the rage? Let's do a few more. Kirby's Avalanche. Kirby's Dream Course. Kirby's Dreamland 3. And then Mahjong titles. Mega Man 7. Mega Man X or 10. Michael Jordan Chaos in the Windy City. Okay. Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3. Roman numerals. Not Roman numerals. Pushover. R Type 3. And presumably Rampart before that. The Smurfs. Soldiers of Fortune. Now that would be an interesting game, Smurf Soldiers of Fortune, Stunt Race FX, and that is a personal favourite of mine, and it really needs a sequel. Super Bomberman 3, Super Bomberman 4, Super Bomberman 5, at least they can count. Super Castles, ah, we're in the Super section. This could be lots of Super. Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Oh yes, I remember having the Japanese version of that plugged in. Because I had a Japanese Super Nintendo. And then the change it to play the American games. And then we had the fun of playing the PAL stuff. Since I live in the PAL country. Oh, what the fun. Super Mario All Stars. Super Mario Kart. Super Mario World. Super Mario RPG, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, Super Metroid, bit of a Nintendo home run there, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or in this country, Hero Turtles, 
Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Seems rather apt to another Terminator film on the horizon. Venom Spider Man Separation Anxiety. Yes, Venom and Carnage is all the rage. There are new characters. Well, by Y. Well, Y's. Z. Oh, cancel games. More cancel games. This could be quite extensive. Tom and Jerry 2. Now, I think I played that on a 16 bit computer. The Three Musketeers. The Robo Neil Wiley's Revenge. Projects that were heard but never seen. Aftermarket Super Nintendo lives on. Okay, more add-ons. Curious case of Super Noah's Ark 3D. A non-exhaustive list of unlicensed games. Well, that's being honest. A few emblematic unlicensed games. End papers and the end of the book. I hope you enjoyed that. I can honestly say this is uh, certainly a bit of a lump. If you got one of these coming in the post, well, best wishes to your post person. That's all I can say. So with that, doodle pip and see you again in another case of what comes through or not comes through the letterbox. So, bye.